Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative. We do Tassia, Blair, and Kaylani about Shorzy premiering on Hulu May 27. Thank you all for your time. What's good? Thank Let's go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Come on. It's good to see you again. We've done an interview before and it's pretty exciting. We're back good talking. to see you too, fam. Good to see you too. <laughs> absolutely. Um, you know, but I'll start with you. I find it very interesting because, you know, we know Shorzy from Letter Kenny as a character who chirps a lot of people and he's got beef with a lot of people. I feel like your character, though, and Ryan's character are the two kind of like unofficial rivalries with Shorzy, if you know what I mean by that. What's that For like sure. kind of having a lot of those scenes with Jared and actually having that kind of like rivalry, I feel like, with Shorzy? <laughs> Oh, it's so fun. It is beyond fun. Like he makes it so easy to chirp him. There's just so many reasons why. And I feel like him and Zeke definitely have like that brother sister relationship where it's just yeah. like, no matter what time of day we're chirping, but it's all love. And it's also kind of fun to be one of the few people who can make him cry a little bit. So it's like really <laughs> nice, really nice to play along with Jared. And it's all in the writing. Like he is so brilliant with that, him and Jacob. So honestly, yeah. it was just such an honor. But you know what I mean by that? Like the rival, there's like a rivalry going on there. <laughs> oh, for sure. Even when we're like not like even when him and I aren't talking, we're still kind of glaring at each other. I walk out of rooms and we're both like giving each other the death stare. Like it's just constantly in our in our DNA towards one another. It almost feels like it's funny. absolutely now, Tasia, your character is there's a lot happening with the Sudbury hockey team and everything, and she's in control, she's doing as much as she can in a very chaotic kind of atmosphere and situation. Is it fun playing characters like that that are kind of just thrown in and it's just a lot's <laughs> happening? Yeah. It's you, it's just like kind of just like letting the boys play. You yeah. know? You're just letting the boys play. And I think like Nat's really good at delegating. Mm -hmm. Unlike myself. I'm like, oh, I can do it. I can take it all on. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> and then it gets overwhelming and I'm like, oh my God. Nat's like, Okay, let's see. Let's see this plan. She lets people come up with their plans and then she watches them unfold and then she'll kind of jump in and, and you know, do some management here and there if necessary. But the way I perceived Nat is she's just kind of skating right down the center of the ice yeah. and everyone's kind of like flowing around her, you know, like she has her two wing women with her. Um, but as, even like as the conversation goes, you know, it bounces around the room. And then like, when it comes back to Nat, she's still on track. She's like, okay, what are we doing? <laughs> What's the plan? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to go into big spoilers, but they're going to see like every episode, like something else happens that she has to deal with. Like, it just oh. feels like it's like nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> I need a Nat in my life. Like she always, she's so resourceful and she's very, uh, what I like about her is she's someone who takes action. You know, she, she, she doesn't need to tell everybody she's about to do something. She, she, she sees something and then she follows up with it. You know, she oh, just absolutely. goes and, and does the job to keep things. A hundred percent. No, absolutely. Now, Kehlani, <laughs> a lot of the scenes with all three of you are in kind of like the, is there an official name like the, the offices, like the head offices in the rink? Like what, what do you, what do you call that room that we have? The, that's all the Nat's meetings office, are? baby. Yeah, oh, that's where office. it all goes that's down. Office. Okay. Yeah. In, that, in Nat's office. I mean, those are some of my favorite scenes of the whole show. Yeah. The banter between, you know, with Jared and Harlan and everything. What are those like? And are there times where like many takes came out have to be done because of the laughing of the back and forth? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It takes a lot to get through those ones straight, especially when you want, they're right in front of you. You're looking them dead in the eyes and they're just <laughs> killing. They're slaying and they're slaying you. And you're like, okay, let me get through this. <laughs> um, but yeah, super satisfying. Absolutely. No, but it's just, and those are important scenes too, because those are kind of where all the, <laughs> the plans. The formative scenes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where the plans, that's where our plans are coming together. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Absolutely. Blair, I'm just curious when you heard, like, what was the first thing that kind of came to mind when there was like a spinoff about Letter Kenny? Because I find it interesting because this one obviously, like, this is all, like, this focuses on hockey. Like, it's about Shorzy 
there's hockey is in letter a little bit here and there, but you know, mm-hmm. this one is like about a hockey team and everything. Shorzy's kind of overseeing a lot of it. So what's that kind of mindset that it is a spinoff, but it's, it's going to be a lot different because it focuses on a sport and everything. What's that mindset for you when you sign on to a project like this? The mindset, like, so I was already a fan of letter Kenny before yeah. I even stepped on the set. So it was more like you just knew the energy that you had to have, but you had to come in with your own spirit and your own person because it's a completely different beast of its own. It has like the essence of letter Kenny because of the humor and the timing. But besides that, it's its own story. So I felt like it was so important for us to really just stick to what we were doing in our own universe. Cause that's what we're trying to create here. And I feel yeah. like we, they did such a great job of plugging us in and really like all of us working together, the cast was, was casted perfectly. And it really helped. I think when it came to life on screen, when we were doing it, because it just felt so natural to us. And I think that's what a lot of people are going to love that they yep. still have the feel of letter Kenny, but it's a completely different aesthetic and energy of its own yeah and i want to ask tasia this and Kilari, i like your also opinion on this too tasia is it a little like is it a little overwhelming i feel like it's a unique situation where you know you're on a new show but that's part of a universe that a lot of people are familiar with right like we know shorzy from like the letter kenny world and everything um there's going to be some familiar faces maybe here and there that pop in and out or referenced but but like is it a cool like but at the end of the day, like we didn't know who Nat was, right? You know what I mean? It's like there's new characters. Like, what's that? Is that a unique situation from a storyteller acting perspective? Definitely. I mean, yep. you know, you want it. I think it's really important as an actor to have your inspirations and to watch television and to, mm-hmm. you know, re- be able to refer to different comedies, comedy styles, um, yep. and different, you know, mentors as actors and stuff. So mm-hmm. I watched Letter Kenny you know, so many times previously, but I watched it with a different eye and I was looking at the women there and I was trying to figure out what is the tone for this character that fits in this universe, but is its own thing. And and so that was definitely a part of the process, but yeah. um, finding, you know, my own way into the world was um, exciting and intimidating at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, because Kelani, I feel like that's gonna kind of happen with like spinoffs and everything because, you're putting familiarity, but then there's not familiarity because we've never met a lot of the characters before. And I feel like that's just kind of an interesting situation for an actor. For sure. I mean, there's definitely some excitement in the newness yeah. when you come into something like this, but and there's also a, an element of familiarity because you're experiencing this world that mm-hmm. is really like Jared did an amazing job. Yes, it's a hockey show, but mm-hmm. beyond that, I want to just shout out the really cool way that he merged other worlds, other arts into that, you know, Joe Dolo, he plays Dolo in the show. He's an amazing hip hop artist outside of this. So he really merges worlds together. And that's something that feels like home to me. I mean, you've, we've talked before about some other projects. I'm, you know, I'm a dancer, I'm a DJ. So having that element of convergence that like is so familiar and, and so much to celebrate within that. So I'm just super grateful to be part of it. And I remember last time we spoke a while ago, you were like, I'm working on a lot of projects. I can't tell you much. I'm like wondering maybe if one of them was sure. Cause I'm like, yes, when I saw that you were. <laughs> yes. Oh, like, uh, blessing to be in the mix with that. You know, you all know how it is, right? It's like, I, w- I want to tell you, but I can't. <laughs> but I- <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> here we are. Blair, this is a very simple question. What's your favorite thing about, being part of Shorzy? I would have to say just to be involved in such a a cool world, to be able to, like I felt honored to be able to be pulled into this universe because there is so many good things about it. And it felt like when you stepped on set, it was so inviting and the cast was so great along with the crew. And it really was just such a great environment to be a part of. And honestly, I I couldn't have asked for a better experience. So I feel like at the end of the day, being brought into the world of Kenny and Shorzy was the best. Absolutely. Well, I wanted to thank all three of you for giving me some time to chat with you about Shorzy. It's premiering on uh, Hulu on the 27th of May, Canada. I had a little taste on Crave on the 13th, but it's coming to the States and Hulu. Yeah. Thank you all That'd for your time. Awesome. It was, it was <laughs> so great to chat with you. Thank you all so much for your time. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. 
This has been an Autograph Communications production.